If you design websites using Divi, it's very tempting to try and design your websites without using presets because it seems like a lot of work. But one thing I'll tell you is if you don't use presets, you are going to be creating websites that are very difficult to manage, very difficult to maintain because it's very hard to remember what settings you used for each module. Now, I have a set of presets. They're only going for $37, but what you're going to see today may inspire you to create your own presets. So let's dive in and let's take a look at how to install these presets. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, we're going to head over to my folder here. I have a folder, I think it's the downloads, yes. Okay, so in here, we have these crafter presets. So if you purchase them, you'll be able to just get this zipped file. And then what you want to do is to double click it. And then when it opens up, you get this file called crafter presets. That's the file that we need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on these two arrows here. It's very important. You click here and then you say import. Now let's expand this. Okay, so we can see exactly what we're doing. So the next thing we need to do now is to drag the crafter presets.json file and it's important it needs to be the .json file we drag and we drop it here okay or you can just uh, navigate and find it manually next you want to click on import presets this again is very important so i'm going to click here and now it's going to import all the items that I designed using the what the presets so the good thing about uh, creating presets this way is you don't have to uh, go in and make any major customizations initially. This gives you the starting point. So as you can see, we have the light version, we have the primary color version, and we also have the dark version. So at this stage, because this comes in with a default font, ideally, this is where you want to set your font. So let's head over here now to the variable manager. So this is where we're going to come down to our fonts. And then when we scroll down, we're going to change this from open sans to something like a poppins. Over here on the body text, I'm going to also do the same. I'm going to set this to poppins, save, and then apply changes. Okay, so now that I've saved my font, I'm going to also going to come over here and click on save. Now, sometimes it does take a bit of time for this to update. So let's just refresh this for now. So anyway, this has worked, it has updated. You can see now my font has, has taken on the right uh, font, which is fantastic. So the next thing is, if you don't use Sidecrafter Pro, which is our DV5 framework, you may want to adjust your colors here. So this is where you would go to your colors and you can see this is our primary color, right? And this is the color you're going to see throughout on the buttons, pretty much everywhere. So what the preset does is when you come over here to the primary color, right, you can go in and change this, you know, now watch what is happening. I'm going on, I'm going with this really dark color here, right? And it is changing everywhere. And can you see how global this is? This is fantastic. So I'm going to save this color here, save, apply changes. Now this applies instantly. So throughout the whole website, we are now, we now have the updated colors. Okay, even here on the top, you can see that it's all updated, which is fantastic. I mean, this is throughout the whole thing. I mean, look at that. So we change our color in one position and then it updates across the whole website. So next time you want to rebrand your website, you can always go to that color and change it and then it applies across the whole website. Why? Because we're using presets. All right, so the second thing we need to do now is to build our own website using these presets. So let's get rid of, in fact, let's create a brand new page. Right, so on this page here, we're just gonna call it uh, new design and then click on use Divi Builder. Right, so we can start designing now. So the first thing we're going to need in here, let's say maybe we want to add a heading. So we're gonna go in, add a heading in here. And maybe we might need to add, uh, let's say some paragraph text. So let's search for our text module. And then uh, maybe we may want to add, uh, let's say some blurbs. So I'm gonna click here and then we're going to add a group. And in this group, we're going to add our blurbs. There we go. 
So I'm going to duplicate this. In fact, I will, I'll keep one so that you can see uh, later on how these presets work. So now that I have uh, a few of these elements, now notice how uh, this works. If I go in now like that, I can come over here to design and just make sure that my heading here is set to heading three because I don't want it really, really big, okay? So I'm going to set this to heading three and center it, okay? The next step now, and this is where the presets come in. I'm going to come over here and then choose the preset three. Look at that. So now it is taken on my size. If I want to go heading two, I can select heading two and then I can come over here and choose my preset heading two. Brilliant. Now, it may also be a good idea that when you choose these presets, you can also set them as defaults. So I'm going to do that when this paragraph text. So I've selected my text here. I'm going to come over here to design. I'm going to come over here and center my text. Now, notice that I'm not even going in to change my size over here. Why? Because I have a preset. So I'm going to come over here to default preset. And then I'm going to just go with KP body text. Boom. Just like that, now I have my body text. Now, what I may need to do is to set this as a, as a default. So I'm going to click on the star. So every time I go in and add paragraph text, I don't need to keep on clicking all around. So I'm going to say yes. Okay, fantastic. Now we are here on our blurb. Again, I want to select my blurb here. Now, I've kept this open because this can work as my reference. So I can take a look here and see, okay, which one do I want to use? Do I want to go with this one, this one, or that one? So they're all labeled, right? So this is A, B, and C. So I'm going to come over here, choose my default. In fact, let's make sure this is selected. Come over here. So this is B. So I'm going to go with B, light. There we go. You see? So all we have to do now, because everything is all set for us, all I have to do now is to change my icon. So I'm going to come over here to icon, activate it, and then I'm going to choose my icon. And the icon I'm going to go with initially is uh, perhaps maybe this upload thingy. Now, do you see I didn't even need to go in and fix the sizing and all of that? Everything is all set for me. Next, I'm just going to duplicate this twice like that. And then I'm going to change... Uh, the first one, uh, let's change this to, let's say, this camera. And then this one here, we're going to change it to, we're going to come over here and we're going to change that one as well. So let's go with this one. So you can see my icons are all set. So with this now, I'm going to go into the group, design, layout, and I can use Flexbox. And now everything is all laid out correctly. If I want, I can add wrapping. But of course, in this case, I don't want to add any wrapping to this. So this is looking great. So the next step now is to let me just publish this. So at least I have uh, all my information set. So let's say you want to create a dark mode version of this design. Or perhaps maybe you want to have a section that is dark. The presets can also work in our favor. So I'm going to come over here and in fact, let's duplicate this like that. Okay. So we want to make this top one here, the darker version. So I'm going to select my section settings here, go to background and let's add a dark background color. Okay. So we're going to go with this really dark color. So of course, uh, when we look at this, this doesn't work because uh, this is really you know, dark on dark, so the contrast is really bad. So now with this selected, I'm going to come over here now and choose the dark version, okay? So we have the outline here. That's what it looks like. We, you know, we have different types here. We have the primary, we have the light, we have the outline, and so on. So what I want here is the dark version. So, but I want to go with the B type, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, notice what happened here, okay? It's updated, and this now is looking much, much better than it was before. So if I get rid of that and that, and then duplicate this a few times, you can see right away, I'm now you know, moving really fast with uh, with my designs. So depending on how you want to have your icon, and I've done this intentionally because I want you to see that these presets are very powerful. You can actually go in and edit them 
to however you want. So this time I want to make sure that my icon is visible. So I'm going to select my module settings here. Come over here. Now, the good thing with this is because this is the one that uh, is uh, is working, you can see it by this check mark here. I can now go in and click on preset settings. But what I usually like to do is I like to go in, right, make changes to it. So for example, this is about the icon. I'm going to come over here to image and icon. And I want to choose the, the icon color here. This is what I want to change. Okay, so I'm going to go in and really add a light color here. Okay, so let's say that's the color I want to go with. I'm going to close out of here. But instead of saving, like how we normally save, what you want to do is to come over here to the presets, go to the one with the check mark, which is this one. Come over here and then click the second icon. Do you, say it's, do you see it says update preset with current styles? That's exactly what you want to do. So I'm going to go in and do that. And then I'm going to say yes. Now, do you see that they have all updated now? So if there's a situation where you want to make a global change across the whole website, this is what you do. You go in and update that preset and this, this updates, uh, updates the, whole, uh, the whole website. Next, I'm going to come over here to this text. And of course, with this text now, um, I just need to go in here, go to my text, and then look for my colors, and then choose my color. Now, the color that I'm going to add, I can add it here as a global color, right? So this is where you need to decide what color you want to add. So I'm going to say white, for example. But in uh, in reality, I don't like using a a complete white because it's too bright. So I'll use F8, 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 okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and save and apply changes. So now that I have my light color, I'm gonna go in here, go to design, pick a color, and now it has been added. So every time I need it, I can just select it. I can come over here to my heading, design, heading text, and I know I'm on heading two, go to my color, and then I can just make it light like that. So now we have two distinct sections, which we're using presets. Now, if you design this way, you will be flying through your designs. I mean, you can continue on and add even more items. Let's say, for example, you want to go in, add a uh, countdown timer. So let's search for it. Uh, countdown timer. So that's the default one. But I can come over here to my presets and go for the dark mode because the dark is what I want. Do you see that? It fits in. Now, these presets are so powerful because they work with any dark color. So let's go to our section here, background. And in here now, watch. If I choose any dark color, the background, the I, I mean, the, um, the elements, the modules in here, they all look brilliant. Look at that. So you don't have to now worry about, oh, this is, this is a dark color, it's black, so now you need to make a color that adjusts and works with, no, it just adapts. Look, I can even change the color again. Let's go with, um, let's go with that. Now look at that, brilliant, you see? But of course, you need to stay dark for this to work. So this in itself, I'm sure you can agree that, I mean, it's, you know, it's a beautiful layout, and as I mentioned, it adapts with uh, pretty much any color. Look at that. The contrast is great. The background is great. And as you're designing, it's going to look brilliant. So all your sections with color will look like this with our modules. Very, very powerful. So I would recommend that uh, you start designing your websites with presets. That way you increase your, your workflow. And not only that, you also have... Uh, a website which is going to be very, very consistent. If you're brand new to um, Divi, I have a community called Divi University. Head over there and uh, join the community. It's 100% free. It's on diviuniversity.com right here. And you can join for free, as you can see here. And if you like my tutorials and you want to support me, you can do so by buying me a coffee over here. And I'll really, really appreciate it. Finally, there's a course here for... Anyone who wants to master Divi, and this, as you can see, is the Divi 5 Mastery course. It's only $27, and as you can see, it has 698 students. So go ahead and uh, 
you know, sign up for the course. Uh, this this also uh, really supports me. So um, hopefully this will get you up and running super fast in designing websites with Divi. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.